it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a health coach and personal trainer, and I'm here to help you make healthy living easy, fun, and delicious. And today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite veggie-filled easy lunches, and that is collard green wraps. So I have a recipe on my site already for hummus collard green wraps, and I wanted to show you today how easy it is to make these and how to actually roll up the wrap because sometimes people have questions about it. So let's hop right in and make some collard green wraps today. So the first thing when you're thinking about making collard wraps is buying the right type of wraps at the grocery store. So like I said, it's just collard leaves and I really like to look for the biggest ones. That way I can put lots of filling in there and they're easier to roll up and they don't sort of fall apart or like the stuffing doesn't fall out on you. So definitely look for big ones that aren't broken and don't have a bunch of tears in them. These ones were pretty good at the store so I picked them up. The next step is once you get them home and you're gonna make your wraps, you wanna wash them. So wash them really nice. These ones are still a little wet because I just finished washing them. And I actually like keeping them a little bit wet because then I can just put them on a pan on the stove and kind of soften them up a bit. So this is a really easy way rather than steaming them, you can just put them on, put the pan on medium heat, lay the wet wrap after you just washed it um, on the pan. It'll kind of steam and soften a little bit. You don't have to do this, but it does make the wrap a little bit softer and easier to fold up when you're rolling it up like a wrap. Um, and then the next big thing is chopping it properly. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna chop the collard leaf. And the first thing you wanna do is cut off this stem because it is really kind of hard to bite through. So get rid of this. And then the next step is to trim this inner stem. So that way it gets um, thinner and then it's easier to chew through and then also easier to um, fold up. So we'll just sort of go in here with a knife and trim this down. But you wanna make sure you're not ripping a hole in your leaf. <laughs> So trim, trim, trim. And now that edge is nice and thin. So we got rid of this, the thick stalk. And now the edge is nice and trim and easy. And we have our leaf ready to be filled with the fillings. So like I said, I have a um, hummus collard leaf wrap on my website. And I'm gonna be making a variation of that, but a little bit different just with what I have on hand. So we're gonna do hummus. And I like to put the ingredients down here near the bottom because then it's easier to fold up and into a burrito style wrap. So we've got our hummus down here. Loading it up. And then I'm gonna add some cucumbers. And purple carrots. Well, they're actually purple and yellow. Super colorful, will make for a beautiful wrap. Then I'm gonna add some red onion on here. And avocado. Just do a few avocado slices. Got our avocado on there, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds for some plant-based protein. All right, now this is the magical part of the collard wraps of getting them to roll properly. So what you wanna do is fold in the outer leaves. It's kind of like um, folding in a burrito or wrapping a burrito. So fold in your inner leaves and then fold up your bottom half and kind of squeeze everything in tightly, all your filling ingredients. And that's one thing with collard wraps, you don't wanna get them too full or they'll kind of bust and break and you don't want that to happen. So then you just roll while you pull in the insides. And I'm going slow just to show you, but it's really easy. So roll, roll, roll. And now you have a nice tight little collard wrap and then you can cut it in half for serving. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut one half here, and then sometimes I'll just cut along this center piece to get the stem out. But if you don't mind the stem, the extra crunch, it's no big deal. And here you go, a beautiful little collard wrap. So I have this one, and then I just made another one too. So I've got this one as well. 
And I feel like too with this um, hummus avocado plant-based protein kind of wrap would be perfect. And there you go. So that's it. It is that easy to make these homemade collard wraps. And like I said, these are a great option if you're just trying to eat more veggies or you're grain-free or gluten-free. It's the perfect substitute for wraps or tortillas. And I just wanna show you again how cute these little wraps look. And if you were gonna eat, be eating them for a meal, I'd say make two of them. And like I mentioned, the recipe is already on my site, so I, I will link to it right here, and it'll also be linked down below in the comment section, so you can easily find the recipe and make it for yourself. And I wanted to mention that this recipe actually, or this idea for the video, actually came from one of my Instagram followers. When I shared a picture of my hummus collard wraps, she was like, how do you roll them up? Do you steam them first? Just how do you do it? And so I was inspired to make this video. And that's what I want to mention to you, that if you have anything that you would like me to show you, healthy eating wise or recipe wise, please let me know in the comment section because I'm always up for suggestions and it helps me come up with good ideas to share with you. So like I said, leave a comment, please hit like, please subscribe. I make a new video all about healthy living every Tuesday and I'm really excited to see you next Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in.